Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and today I want to talk with you about uh, some tips and some gadgets in case you're in a short-term power outage. So, most people have a flashlight, and you got that flashlight in your junk drawer, but have you tested it lately? Because frankly, I went and looked in my junk drawer, and I had five, count them, five non-working flashlights. Uh, this one happens to be an LED flashlight. I put fresh batteries in it, and I also got some extra batteries. Um, it's one of those goofy things. Everybody has a flashlight and they don't really check it that often. So uh, maybe it's the sort of thing like when you check the, the, uh, the batteries in your smoke detector, maybe at the same time, make sure you've got a couple of flashlights where you know where they are, you can find them in the dark, and you've got spare batteries to go with them. And that way in an emergency, you have lighting. Now, a lot of us have cell phones, which uh, actually are great in emergency situations. Uh, just make sure you keep them charged up. Now, on the other hand, if you have one of these newfangled ways of doing telephones uh, through the internet, through your cable, or um, uh, a fiber optic provider, uh, those are generally not going to work in a blackout. But let's just assume that you've got that cell phone. You're going to want to be able to keep that charged up. Now, here's a great way of being able to do that. Uh, this here is a power bank. Um, these come in different sizes, shapes, and, and capacities. But basically, it's a rechargeable lithium battery. It's 5 volts, so it'll charge and put out over a USB connection. And everything nowadays is USB. Um, here's my phone. This one happens to be an iPhone. Well, the cord for that is USB. Uh, so what's great is these little power banks, you can have these charged up ahead of time, you can keep them in a bag, a drawer, a purse, whatever. Uh, you just plug in your USB cable and then plug in your phone to that. And in, in the case of this one, I can do several charges of my iPhone right off of here. Just plug it in and off you go. So it's great for anything that's uh, USB powered. So that includes things like, for example, a GoPro camera. Um, so this is something I use all the time. I use it for camping. I used it on a canoe trip when I didn't have any electricity around, uh, but even that's gonna run out after a little while. So another really cool thing to go with it is a USB five volt solar panel. I got this from Brown Dog Gadgets. This is a 10 watt solar panel. And again, it's just got a USB connection on it. So during the day, I can use this to recharge this power bank. It works really great that way. Uh, another thing, you can get, for example, a USB light. Again, this is something that I actually use anyways for uh, camping and outdoorsy type stuff. It's just got a USB connection. You plug it in, and basically, you've got a little gooseneck lamp. Handy for camping, outdoor stuff, but also in that emergency situation. Um, all these three items here I got from browndoggadgets.com. Now let's take a look at something else, kind of a similar idea. Having a battery and uh, some way to charge it up. Uh, over here I have a uh, unit from Phoenix. Um, this thing, I actually won this in a contest through Instructables. They like to send me t-shirts and things like that, so thank you Instructables. But basically it's a charging unit and it's a battery all in one box. It has 12 volt out and 5 volt USB outs. Uh, and then it comes with a 15 watt solar panel. So you can mount this outside, you can put this in a window, whatever, plug this into the back here, charge that up. And that's got a two amp output. I actually use this for uh, charging my iPad. So yeah, believe it or not, I have an off-grid iPad. Uh, it comes with a couple of accessories, including sort of a universal clip for recharging almost any cell phone, of course. You can always use your typical USB adapter, which is how I would do it. Uh, but another kind of a fun thing here is that it comes with a 12 volt LED bulb with just a little cigarette lighter plug. So you pop that in there, turn that on, and you've got a pretty good little amount of light coming from there. We also have a nice gauge. Uh, right now it's a little bit low. It's been cloudy the last couple of days. Um, but this is kind of a neat unit because um, you can charge it from solar, it holds a fair amount of power in the lead-acid battery that's in here, and you have both 5 and 12 volt outs to it. Uh, with that 12 volt out, you can do, uh, you can use any of your uh, car accessories, anything that you would have for that cigarette lighter uh, plug in your car, you can use there. And actually, that's a nice segue. Uh, let's say you've got a house, you've already got a car in your driveway, 
uh, right there you've got a big 12 volt battery and if you need to charge it all you have to do is start up your engine. You can actually run an inverter in your car, run extension cord into your house and now you've got AC power for running things like a refrigerator or a lamp, things like that. Now another way to do the same thing is actually with a computer UPS. Again, this is one of those things you don't have to run out and buy in that, you know, a lot of people have these. These are pretty common. Uh, all a UPS is, is it's a box. You plug it into the wall, use that 120 volt AC wall power. And then it also has a battery inside there. And basically the wall power keeps that battery charged up. And hey, if the power goes out, uh, it automatically kicks right on over to that battery power. And typically you have your computer plugged into this. You can save your work, everything like that. Uh, but and then of course when the power comes back on it recharges the battery. Now if you're in a blackout situation there's nothing that says that you can't have something other than your computer plugged into this. Uh, for example your phone charger, your refrigerator, um, whatever uh, you need to have plugged in there. Now typically these don't have very good runtime on them. They're really not designed for running uh, real long. The bigger, fancier ones uh, are going to have a bigger battery to them. They're going to cost more too. But uh, you can actually even take uh, maybe one of these somebody's throwing away, take it apart, hook up a bigger battery to it, uh, say a flooded 12 volt battery, keep it in your garage, something like that. Uh, actually, I did an idea. I called it my poor man's smart grid. I actually hooked up my 48 volt uh, electric motorcycle to a repurposed uh, computer. Uh, uninterruptible power supply and can actually run my whole house on it. But of course that's getting a little bit more uh, hands-on, do it yourself and you got to know a little bit something about electricity. But if you're looking for uh, a couple of simple ways of just having a little bit of power in a blackout situation, uh, I highly recommend first of all just check your regular stuff. Like make sure you have batteries in your flashlight. But take a look at some of these other neat little gadgets out there. Um, stuff from Brown Dog Gadgets, stuff from Phoenix, are pretty handy devices that you might use day to day, use them camping, use them outdoors. But if you have a blackout, they're really handy there too. See you next time.